so you she was in the video I don't know about that bro okay I gotta go what's up friends and family Mr. Flip Flop here just thought I'd put this video together real quick about some things that's been going on it's a new I'm sorry it's not even new it's a disease that's been going on but I think um, the CDC has put a name to it so I thought I would come out and uh, make this video about this disease affecting men. I was going to say men that travel, but it actually affects men all around the world. Now, this is a very dangerous disease, and some men who get it can spread it, can be contagious. Um, it's kind of a form of simpery, if you want to say. Okay, so the disease is called autoimmune sympion syndrome. Autoimmune Sympion Syndrome. In other words, ass. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Buenos noches, diez. Siete, ocho. Eh, me amo. Que veni, tu. <laughs> donde, donde este va? Uh, so, now you may ask, flip flop, come on, what is a simp? Well, let's give the definition of a simp. The words sometimes stand for suckers idolizing mediocre. Okay, <laughs> I try to keep it PG around here when I can. So, by definition, a man that puts himself in a subservient, submissive position under women in hopes of winning them over without the female bringing anything to the table or a square with no game other than rolling out the red carpet for every female I would say a Norbit type character I guess right now why am I doing this video well I noticed that in my travels there have been a lot of simps now simps don't really affect me sorry they can't uh, cuz I you know I do what I do on the low I don't really let anybody know what I'm doing uh, I may laugh and, and joke, but no one really knows what I do. Okay, so simps will never really bother me, and I never really feel any type of way because it doesn't affect me, you know. So, what are the so telltale signs that a man has or is infected with ass or the simp disease? Some of you want to keep it PG. So symptoms are basically falling in love, uh, basically coveting someone that your man had, you know, uh, questioning pictures. I love this one. Wanting your girl to FaceTime you, you know, tell everybody, that's my girl, that's my boo, that's my love, I love her. It's weird. Um, seeing your girl's picture in private groups or on the internet in private domains and letting her know about it. Case in point, I guess I had a video recently. A girl was in there. I don't put girls on my videos, but a picture was put in by my editing team. And someone contacted me like, hey, you know, my girl's in your video. I don't care. You know, if your girl's in the video, your girl's videos, your girl's photo's public, it is what it is. Every girl I, I put in any of my videos, I have their permission. Or on the thumbnail, I definitely have their permission. Uh, but, you know, it's one of them things where... Guys get so caught up, they get butt hurt. You know, they're in their feelings. You know, they're infected with ass, so they're in their feelings. So, you know, telltale signs are basically, it's like this. If you see a girl's picture, what do you think? What do you, why are you worried about her? You know, um, other options are like guys overpaying. I've heard that a lot. I don't believe in overpaying, but some guys overpay just to keep that said person away from another guy. That happens a lot. You know, um, not passing her number because, you know, you in love. I've seen that many a times. Guys don't want to, you know, that's my boo. You know, whatever, whatever. Uh, getting mad when you see, a, you know, your, your boo with someone else, you know, taking care of all her problems, you know, hoping that every time you go to work and you go and you, you, you work extra OT just to send her some money, you know, you got the gold woo card. Some of you guys got the gold woo card. 
Now, I know some people are going to get mad at me for this video. And as you know, I don't care. I say what I want. I do what I want. Some guys are going to get mad. I'm sorry. The simp thing is very contagious. There's a, there's a saying. I know Taylor May said it, but it, you know, it was said way before he got to Dominican Republic by my boy Billy. I won't take credit for it because Billy's the one that said it. Uh, my little homie, a white boy named Billy I was hanging with a long time ago. He's actually still in the suit now. Uh, he would always say, it's not your girl, it's your turn. And, you know, I'm kind of jaded when it comes to women sometimes. So I, I don't have an opinion when guys go all crazy and all that. It's weird to me, but it is what it is. But, you know, now I have love in my heart. Don't get me wrong. I love everybody. But I will never slip my wrist or go crazy over a woman. I love myself too much. And we'll get into that in another video. Uh, my uh, motivational video, the last part, actually, I'm sorry, I've been holding it up. But let's stick to this, because this disease is affecting so many men. So, you know, getting mad when you see your girl out, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to be as blunt as I can, as much as I can. If you met your significant other in a certain situation, you should know that your significant other is that way. And you should not expect your significant other to be anything more than what that is at that moment that you guys met each other and went forward. You know, I mean, I can't be mad at a clown for being a clown when we're at the circus. You get my drift? So how can we cure men of this disease? Well, a few things we can do Put on our big boy pants. Understand that it's not really love. There was a quote I read a long time ago by a good friend of mine. And he would say, if you think it's love, try not paying in the morning. You know. And like I said, I don't go into certain things like that, but it is what it is. I just noticed that there's a lot of guys being simps. There are a lot of people that have this disease. Uh, marrying uh, certain women that you know they know they're really not in love with them, but they're married to keep them. Um, you know, it, it, I'm trying to be keep it PG, but I mean, let's be blunt. If you meet a woman and it's all about business, and you fall in love, why would you think anything would change other than it being about business? You know, like they say, a lot of marriages now are business contracts. You know, a lot of people get married in the States so, so much and around the world, period. But in the States where it becomes a business deal, where the woman's in it for the money to help get her level up. The man's in it for the money to level himself up. You know what I'm saying? They're both trying to work as a team. Sometimes they may not be love. They may just be building something together, you know, which is smart in a way. But is it real? You know, uh, like I said, this is a PSA. I'm going to keep it short and sweet because I'm not going to go on. There's some things I want to say, but I'm trying to I'll tone it tone it down you know so just be careful don't be a simp are you not entertained are you not entertained is this not why you are here it doesn't matter what you think